is at this point in time, the other big trend that we're seeing in the startup ecosystem uh, are companies IPOing. Uh, any plans, any thoughts, any aspiration or wanting to go that route? So, I think good part is uh, since we've been bootstrapped, so mm. honestly speaking, we never had anything to dress up the company for huh. and no hurry to give in exit to investors actually right. so i think uh, ipo is in milestone for any company but uh, we are we have always built business sustainably and we are always building it for long run so i don't think uh, we are there on that but if it has to happen it will uh, we are ready with that i mean yeah. books numbers but i think we enjoy our freedom also right now <laughs> you're being happy being not not answerable every quarter to and, and we don't want to be don't want to be in a tight uh, quadrant that you can't go beyond this. Mm. This is the limitation mm. you have to do. Mm. So you know, in many ways, as you said, that there are boundaries that get set for you by either investors or public markets and so on and so forth. You would rather be boundaryless at this point in time. But you know, every business has its its Lakshman Rekhas. Yeah. What do you believe yours are? See, I think uh, the best part part about being in a consumer tech driven business is that tech is evolving mm. every day and uh, it's it's impossible for somebody to put a Lakshman Rekha on a tech because the way it is operating and the way it is going ahead in life I don't think so we will be able to live without tech uh, ever so Sorry. there will be a, of course evolution of tech and uh, we will be growing with that a lot of tech we were trying to build now in house so we will be seeing there so uh, it's very difficult to say what is the Lakshman Rekha but fortunately the category is such that yeah. it will not have a Lakshman Rekha it will only have a space to grow and a lot of headroom so and, and, just, and many more moonshots, yeah. uh, as, as you see it. Absolutely. But how do you see yourself? Because as you pointed out, you're the most downloaded app uh, in the health and space. wellness uh, space. So do you see yourself as a health and wellness company? Do you see yourself as a consumer tech company? Do you see yourself as a convergence of the two? And, and the kind of opportunities that you intend to chase after? So I think we are very clear we're a consu lifestyle consumer tech company and health and wellness is one pivot to that. People use watches with that, but I think health and wellness would be one pivot. Utility will be another pivot because I think these devices, what we do, would uh, do a lot of payment for an example, a lot of food ordering for an example, controlling the car, so that becomes utility. And I think third becomes communication, like mm. you could attend calls or talk to someone or whatever. Mm. So I think it's, or messaging for an example. So it's more of uh, getting more and more involved with a user, being mm. a part of their daily life. Do you intend going down the phone route? No, I don't think. We no. are happy with this. So that's, that's a Lakshman Rekha. <laughs> it's very difficult to comment. You never know how the, you never know. You never never know how the phones change and no. how the industry changes tomorrow. Maybe uh, there is a tech that is about to come which, is, which will change the entire uh, mobility as such. Hmm. So uh, I think, like I said, I think we need to be ready in all across the corner. So hmm. there is no no to anything and uh, not easy yes to everything. Not an easy yes to everything. If you look into it, we say that our Lakshman Rekha is our imagination. Huh. So it stops there when you stop imagining. And now, you know, AI is there everywhere. Yeah. Two years back, it was nothing. Yeah. So, so how much of AI are you guys using at, uh, at Noise? I think... Using? Using, with, I think, a lot. Use a, <laughs> a lot now. A lot now in terms of the basic usage of work, where the design, where the content, where a lot of strategy piece that we are doing. But yeah, a lot that we are working on uh, in terms of our hardware also, where we are trying to build AI-enabled watches and other products that Amit can speak about hmm. a lot. But I'm just saying, so what we're seeing is a lot of data is coming and how can we make it more meaningful? So now user doesn't need, a, let's say, heart rate data. Hmm. They need what does it mean personally to yeah. And how, what should I do specific to my vitals to make it better? Yeah. So, you know, AI coach is coming in play. A lot of analytics personalized to you and now when 4G connectivity would come to a hmm. watch, hmm. you would see live analytics. Live analytics means, Shreen is, let's say your vitals are not right. It can tell you right away that you yeah. are in this quadrant, yeah. this is going wrong, immediately do that. So I think you would see it, that happening there. By the way, we spoke about watch faces. Yeah. So we have uh, launched a pilot project where we did a AI watch face, which means consumer could give a command hmm. and they could curate a watch face what they want. Okay. And that's really doing well. Huh. So I mean, it's coming so who in. who is the typical noise consumer? I mean, what is the demographic? Uh, you know, who is the typical noise consumer? So I think most of it would be the young Indian consumers. Uh, a typical average age of a noise consumer would be 25. So let's say a 20, 18 to 25 would be 50 odd percent and then 
there will be 25 to 35 which will be another 40% no sorry uh, yeah 40% and then the balance would be 10% of it uh, demographically i think till probably 2 years back it used to be 80% from tier 1 and tier 2 hmm. uh, the equation has changed a lot how the internet has been able to penetrate to the tier 3 markets hmm. uh, today we would be 60% from metro plus tier 1 tier 2 and then tier 3 also sar playing a very big role in our game and now we have reached to a 40% odd uh, from the tier 3 market hmm. also but you know this volume and value and i think that friction point or that uh, balance is something that every company in different spaces is trying to sort of work towards what has that been like what has that experience been like for you we are trying to find out a balance where we are saying okay, okay. 70% we could still okay we are not the cheapest in the market by the way we are very clear we don't want to be cheapest because we don't want to compromise on design quality hardware packaging customer care every fair so we realize let cheapest be with other brands we do a little lap where people want to pay a little premium to it which definitely means little lesser revenue volume to some peers but mm. i mean which is fine i think let us carve out that's our, the sacrifice that you are willing to make See honestly uh, it is it is a mix of it you know a volume brings a lot of different things and a lot of positive things to you because mm-hmm. when you have volumes your ecosystem tech enablement things that you want to do uh, cost per unit basically becomes yeah. cheap and, and and it enables a lot of other things a value at parallel things is also very very important you can't live without mm-hmm. you know you you, you yeah, can't choose one it's a you can't choose it's you can't choose one between the both But is the market getting harder because it is getting more competitive and you've got you know a lot of i mean you said that there were at one point what 200 uh, you know uh, we started variable 20 no no i think now four years back it 20? started small then you went through this plethora of you know uh, hundreds of companies and now you're back to seeing some companies uh, sort of exiting the market you know are you are we were shocked ourselves because when we started we were 20 and then in last 4 years the market like went from 2.5 million to 50 million devices mm. which means everybody said this is the business to be and huh. it's the fastest growing category everybody was bring 150% year on year huh. a milk seller would also come and tell that <laughs> i want to do a wearable and a, a random brand who's not at all associated with tech would also say that i want to wear everybody started doing wearable and you would see everybody started doing like good quantity uh, we were say we realize what is this happening and uh, is it not sustainable what they are doing yeah. so this year onwards we are seeing good trends at least that people who were doing unsustainable business they are nowhere in the market mm. i mean people who were like 3% market share zero mm. so we see that people uh, getting out of the space and it will come back to few players and i think this industry would also have three players leading what 60 70% of the market mm, which is typically ha- the rule of three you believe that that yeah. will play out here as well uh, but and so yeah. so and in this this year fortunately has been good also for us because a lot of people are moving out bigger players are moving out mm. but we have sustained better profitability mm. and our volumes are still stable so what is the target now in terms of numbers in terms of financials where do you see yourself over the next few years uh, you know is is there a plan that you're working towards what size do you want to be in terms of revenue what kind of profitability uh, are you hoping for so i think me and gora fundamentally very clear that keep size aside for an mm. example can we build sustainable businesses where you keep building on top of that instead of working on something today and not working on that tomorrow so we want to get into tough categories in other words yeah. which are not commoditized which have a tough entry barriers okay. that that is where we are clear and i think we're looking at as a company that can be grow 20 25% year on year that is also a healthy room i mean It, let's not envisage or put ourselves onto a trouble where we're saying double yourself every year because uh, uh. you have to sacrifice a lot of things yeah yeah so what are these tough categories outside of the categories that you're already in i can see the rings that both of you are wearing uh, and of course uh, the watches and you've got the earpods and so on and so forth what are these new tough categories that you know believe you could potentially get into you know so i think uh, going deeper in the category we would uh, really prefer so as an org we are working towards going devices okay i'll tell you let's look at the market huh. i think since the market uh, we are at a 15% penetration to the category where we are in over a 6 60 crore uh, mobile, mobile mix, phones yeah. we have phone user base uh, what 10 crores of devices until hmm. last year it was all 80% were first time users i want to buy a watch hmm. i don't know what it does let me buy a watch ha huh. ab this year now what has happened that and internationally market is 25% penetration so india has to go to 25 30% because we are young population sat yeah. saal yeah. so market has to hit 30 which means has to go double huh. but it can only go double where industry estimate that 50% demand has to be from 
फर्स्ट टाइम बट फिफ्टी परसेंट हैज टू कम रिपीट सो रिपीट को अपग्रेड करने के लिए रिपीट अभी आ रहे हैं कि नहीं आ रहे सो रिपीट इज कमिंग आई थिंक एज अ ब्रांड वी आर द ओनली ब्रांड हु इज सेलिंग एट अ प्राइस पॉइंट विच इज वॉट सिक्सटी सेवेंटी डॉलर राइट ना विच वी आर मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट मार्केट से बाय नो अदर इंडियन ब्रांड हैज दट मार्केट शेड अटॉट दे ऑल आर प्राइज सब फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज and we are now working on products which are like a 100 dollar for an example or 7 8000 rupees which could upgrade to a user upgrade means uh, after using people know it does step tracking it does health yes. so they need better sensors mm. they need communication better quality better design mm. app people never used an app before mm. because mm. they said it's a time keeping device now yeah. they want an app also yeah. so i think we are trying to go deeper where can we do something with ai can we do 4g connectivity mm. So I think these would be tougher for somebody to enter. Who inspires you? I mean, you know, who are the which are the brands uh, that inspire you today? I mean, I think Apple has been one brand that has been inspiring all of us. Uh, but it's, it has been very difficult now to you know uh, take one particular brand. It's, mm. it's just a different time of work and different situation. You pick up different things. Uh, but you know what Amit was also mentioning about uh, the categories, right? Uh, audio is something that has been very very underpenetrated in no. our own business you know 80% comes from wearables it's just 20% that uh, is coming from hearables so there is a huge uh, headroom that is available for mm. us so there you know the partnership of both itself is is, yeah. is something that will help us to push mm. it further so there is a lot that is going there so that is a category we are trying to double down and and try to make it a mm. probably where the category is growing with a 10 15% year on year uh, we are expecting to grow ourselves by more than 30 40 50% uh, in that so these two levers that we know are there in terms of the category and then mm. of course expanding into different channels offline has been one which is underpenetrated yeah. uh, there's a huge headroom the chitty market is really really big in the country uh, that is untapped so there also uh, so how many how many Uh, noise stores are we likely to see in the next few years so we don't have our own stores uh, we are in odd 15000 outlets span india mm-hmm. so we are in chains like L- reliance chroma which is chains and then other mobile outlets mm-hmm. so i don't think we'll be there in our stores as of now but we are there in shop and shops another way yeah but is the, is that something that you would like an experience so definitely uh, we keep talking about that there has to be few brand stores at least where uh, people could experience and uh, test the brands yeah. you would see that also coming in soon okay at least a pilot on that side it will see a, a pilot pass you will even bearing fast he's speaking speaking of pilot do you miss do you miss uh, aviation at all or uh, those days are forgotten see i think i also uh, sometimes just get into the dilemma whether i'm missing or not because uh, the way business has shaped up and the do you feel you're in a cockpit i feel uh, <laughs> this this spaceship this is not in an aircraft now there's a spaceship <laughs> that i have to take care for uh, but yeah I, i mean flying is always fun and uh, it is a great experience and mm. it is much more thrilling and uh, not much more thrilling and equally thrilling than uh, the running a business but yeah not miss that much but yeah i try and keep my license renewed so there is a mandatory flying that you have to do so do you do that uh, so i have to do that yeah that's the thing so that you, i am you, you, you you've been managing to log in the hour fortunately uh, this business allows me to spend that money extra on on keeping my license renewed <laughs> renewed maybe he is in his back of mind that he might need to go back there go back at some well, point it's a backup plan and a plan b is also on your back plan b the What is your plan B? He's got a plan B. What's your plan B? Is, Back to fashion. No, no, this is only. <laughs> this is it. This A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B
sharing a bond we started knowing each other and maybe that integrity that those things trust really helped us mm. to carve out our journey and like i said there was no uh, for us like this we have to do i mean okay you try it huh. if we succeed and then gradually he pulled me in huh. so he you pulled him in um uh, he I think he is just being very nice about it. It's just that uh, you know, the, as a bada bhaiya, always that you make something big, then only I'll come in. It's not work for me to. <laughs> I was happy about this. <laughs> so, you know, as a as a international cricket player, you would not want to play the uh, you know domestic game. So I was playing domestic game till it I reached to a level where the business can be uh, at a level of international so, cricket game. So yeah, that's the reason. But yeah, I think more than that, what happens is uh, a lot of people say that family businesses you know are risky and stuff. Mm. But for us, it has been there's a there's a huge gap of age, uh, which brings automatically a lot of respect and trust. Mm. right uh, which is a key for any any business thesis and any foundation of any uh, any relationship any relationship yeah. right so let me end then by asking you i mean you know uh, you you managed to bring some heavy hitters on to uh, on to noise not just in terms of in- investors but also in terms of your brand ambassadors in terms of your faces what was that like for you i mean getting a virat kohli for instance on board he's a cricket fan so let him you you're the cricket fan was was it your I, idea I, See honestly uh, when you like I said in the start right when you when you start your business you never realize and when you see your ad on the TV it used to be a very very big thing when you see a ad of a brand on a hoarding it used to be a big thing uh day uh, one was never like that you will be able to achieve it but uh when things started falling in place it used to be that it it's not about just Virat Kohli or anybody else it was that who's the right fit for the brand who is that noise maker who makes the noise in his own field who is fitness freak who can you know influence the customer who makes that aspirational image of a brand and who the consumer also get uh, huh. connected with and probably that was the reason and nobody better than virat was the choice at that particular time and uh, we had a great time and we're still enjoying it well, but yeah. of the two of you who's the bigger noise maker i think he would be the bigger <laughs> noise maker i think woh chote bachche hote hai na <laughs> they make <laughs> they, they, make, they they make they make more noise you you're there for adult supervision yes, is it so. that's that's the that's the role that you're playing well we wish you the very best of luck and we hope that you continue to enjoy the journey together and we look forward to hearing much more about uh, what noise is up to and the kind of noise that you continue to make in the marketplace thank you very much for joining us here on young turks reloaded with that it is time for us to wrap up this episode of young turks reloaded from all of us here on the team for now goodbye and many thanks for watching